Kevin, the homemaker husband. It is Saturday afternoon, actually now, it's pretty close to five o'clock. Michelle and I just made a batch of strawberry jam. Now I went this morning and I picked the strawberries and as it turned out I picked 13 and a half pounds. We just have two large bowls here that I take and I filled them, rounded them right up and it was $31.50 and I had 13 and a half pounds of berries, what I worked out to. So I've still got a ton of berries in the fridge. We needed five cups for this uh, recipe that we made. And it's the first time we ever did jam and did it in the water bath. Last year, and there is a video of it, we made freezer jam that doesn't require the... Uh, water bath obviously but and that's awfully good jam don't get me wrong but it doesn't have a shelf life and obviously it has to stay frozen until you go to use it this stuff here can sit on a shelf they say a year as long as the seal isn't broken I know um, it'll go a couple of years anyway so I'm not gonna ramble too much but I'm gonna show you we got 10 cups basically we have 10 one cup or 250 milliliter jars and that's what we've got I have them sitting here on the cupboard and they have to stay right where they are for 24 hours we heard them all pop so that's that's the first sign that you're looking for is they need to go snap and they did so they are there's a good seal now I'm not manhandling them at all once they uh, have sat for 24 hours I might give them another little smidge there keeping in mind that I'm getting older all the time and I want to be able to get these covers off um, the covers don't have to be super tight anyway because it's the top that seals it and as I said we heard them all pop covers are down so it should be good so without further ado I'll just give you a, a little look at them I'm not picking them up tomorrow when they cool I will uh, wipe the bottles all off, we'll put labels on the top, I would imagine, and uh, prepare to store them, so stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, there's 10 there. Uh, they come out of the boiling water with this little bit of film on them, and I think what that is, is we have hard water here. So, I'm sure it'll wipe right off, I know it will, but that's what you're seeing there. You can't really tell, I guess, that the covers have all popped down, but they did. Like within 30 seconds of taking them out of the water, they were popping. So that's a good sign. So um, I'll show you the berries I have left. So this is actually the same two bowls that I went to pick in. And they were like, I literally rounded them right up, both of them. And that's how many we've got left. I'm going to, I'll cut them in half, probably more than that actually, because for our rhubarb pie that we make, it calls for two cups of them. So I'm going to actually package some in two cups. Everything I package is going to be measured or weighed, whatever recipe we're preparing it for, and that's the way it'll be frozen. So I got to deal with them. First, I want to apologize for my appearance. I have been, uh, I've stayed quite busy today, all day, and actually, I've been on vacation for the last five days, and Michelle and I have been right out straight, and I'll show you what we got up to, but it ended up being quite uh, restructuring, and I'm going to show you why. Um, We have been discussing for a long time, as you know, we're foodies, and often Michelle will say to me, I'm doing up the grocery list, what do we need, do we have, and she'll ask me, I'm thinking next week we're going to make, and she'll ask me about different ingredients, and try as I might, I go in and I look at the pantry, and quite often I uh, overlook something, or I say just offhand yeah we got that and then it turns out when it comes time to make whatever we're making 
I go looking. No, we don't have. So, I get thinking, the other day, we were doing a, a quite a large grocery order, and I get thinking, there's got to be a better way. And what with things being what they are, I said, there's got to be an app. So I punched in um, home inventory, and several different things come up. But I come across an app, and it's called, huh, see, I, I'm lucky if I can remember my own name. This app is called Pantry Check. And I'll tell you, Michelle and I worked like really diligently for two days. I took everything off the pantry shelf. I uh, pretty much except the top. I left the top alone. I thought I was going to have to. Uh, and uh, we've dislocated a lot of things and had to relocate a lot of things. It's been a big job. But here's the thing. With this Pantry Check app, you open your phone, you scan a barcode on each product. It has a barcode, right? You put the date in when it expires. And I've got it set so that it'll notify us three days before something expires. But it actually, it's a week and a half because I've already got a couple notifications on things that were very close to expiring. And we opted to pay for this app and it's sixteen dollars a year sixteen dollars a year and we can have two thousand items in our in our system for that price you can upgrade and have a lot more we probably won't ever need that we've got less than three hundred now so we've got and we've got lots of room but uh, so now when Michelle says I'm going to bake next week we're going to make do we have and she just goes in there and looks and she knows how many we have and all of that so part of the beauty of this is when I go into the pantry I've got it organized very well right now part of the reason why it would get disorganized before is because I'd have to go in and rummage to look and I'd be looking while I was baking or cooking so I'd go in pull something off the shelf and it just got to be a mess or if you go to the grocery store and you buy products that you didn't need to or whatever just find a space wherever on the shelf and it would get terribly cluttered and just a mess couldn't find anything and Michelle you've heard us talk about before she really can't stand for very long and stuff like that so when I wasn't here sometimes she'd go in to look in the pantry and she just couldn't find anything on the shelf now she doesn't have to now she just looks now obviously we have to work it we take a product out we just go into our inventory and take it out of inventory just that easy when we get something like we've already had to go get a few items since and just as I'm take I always take the groceries into our room and I show Michelle what we've got it helps her to know right so now when we did that yesterday I just went in, we scanned the items, put them right into our inventory. We're still writing on them the expiry date simply because it makes it so easy. And now, and I'm going to show you that shelf because I'm quite pleased with it. And it's chock full. And I'm looking right now at a couple items that I'm going to take off and put up in that cupboard because that's where they go. But, um, it really is an amazing system so once again it's called pantry check and Michelle and I both agree that we will I would I would say like $16 a year we're going to at least save 10 times that and probably more like 20 times that because we have like we get food that's expired and stuff like that and for me I'll eat things a week or two past their date depending on what they are and we've done some research as well and most canned goods you know you can you can eat them two or three years past their date acidic foods like uh, tomato sauces and tomatoes and tomato juice you have to be more careful with but you look at the cans it all depends on the situation the shape of the can and then if you open it 
do give it the little sniff test and then you'll know but as you know our apartment here is very small it's basically designed for single seniors and that, that just don't have a lot of stuff now my cupboard here I wouldn't even want to show you it's still a mess but uh, we have quite a bit of stuff and we've been I don't I, I'm afraid to uh, I don't want to fear monger but we've been stocking up a little bit to make sure we have a little extra because unless you're living under a rock you know the prices are going up and everywhere I'm reading farmers are saying there's food shortages coming and inflation is nuts uh, and going to get worse price of oil is is uh, said to like predictions are it's going to get not so so we're trying to build a little bit of a buffer if something lasted for three four years which it could if it got real bad we won't be able to prepare for that but we will definitely prepare the best we can and as I said we're not what you'd call preppers or anything like that but uh, hey Bible tells us plan for the future right even though we hope for Jesus return today plan for the future so we're doing that a little bit and uh, so enough rambling I'm gonna take you in there and show you my shelf and it is full but it's very well organized right now then I'm gonna show you a couple other things and you might think that's silly now before I quit this part of the video I want to say I have literally stayed very busy very busy and Michelle has too but uh, my housework has been quite neglected now I've done the laundry right along and I've cleaned the floor a couple times now one change we made I had to move the Roomba vacuum cleaner so it hasn't been plugged in it hasn't vacuumed for I think the day I first day I was home it vacuumed or the night before or something I know it did on the weekend a lot I've swept I've scrubbed the kitchen floor I've cleaned the floor in the laundry room and scrubbed in there because I'm moving stuff around right and it's always going to be the kind of deal like I've got to get in the closet to get a couple of things I'm going to need uh, coming up here and I've got to move some boxes to even get that closet open that's just the way it is I've accepted it and whatnot but uh, one change you might think it's a little silly and we've laughed at it too but hey it seems to be working pretty good but anyway so now I'm gonna take you in there and I'll show you the pantry so stay tuned okay first let me say I apologize washing machine is right behind me here and it's spinning so if you hear that I apologize now first I will show you the top up here as I said I never really did anything with this I cleaned out in that area there was some old stuff and whatnot I got rid of it and back in there in the back I put some beans and uh, split peas and stuff like that that we really don't use that much but they're dry items and they'll work my flour sifters in there and there's just a few Ritz crackers left in that box these are obviously the jars we will use for canning and up in this box right here is actually the jam that we made earlier and you should if I'm understanding correctly have seen that not being made we didn't bore you with that but uh, it was the first time we made it that way so I want to see if we can do it first but that's where it's stored right now and yes that's out of reach for Michelle so I have to stay on top of that so I'm just gonna give you a little scan of the pantry shelf right now these are the two items I said are going out into the cupboard but as you can see it's fairly neat so like here for instance all these two packages of instant mash they are really instant you just dump that in a bowl basically and dump two cups of boiling water in it stir it and let it sit for a few minutes and then uh, dried potatoes these are soups and back in there is a stash 
of rice and you can see where we wrote the date on it and uh, it's all that's all stuff that's got good good shelf life you left soups now this part of the shelf right here this like from here over these are instant soups as well and up here you see these things these are like this is basically the snack section and I did it this way intentionally this box is open see but I did it this way intentionally so if Michelle wants something she can come out and just easily grab it and even here there's a couple of soups mind the cord there hanging and uh, this is a new bottle of cheese this corner was just kind of open but I wanted to make it so that it was accessible for Michelle and my laundry sheets the dryer sheets always sat in that area and I had an open spot so I used it now as I said everything is basically organized onion powder open spot I basically just sat it there a couple things of hamburger helper and behind there stovetop stuffing all in a nice neat row so now it's organized such if I want these two were bought at the same time so they got the same date but back in here like this is the see that says now so basically that's expiring right now now it'll last longer than its date but we'll use them and if I take one out, Michelle decides I'm going to replace that, puts it on the grocery list, I, I can easily put it to the back, no problem. Now here is multiple kinds of beans, beets here, but they, they work, it's vegetable, right? And this area here, that was back there, these crackers, once again, just an open spot. This is vegetables. Sauces there vegetables tomatoes beans and then into there now the reason I did that is purely for weight this is a tremendous amount of weight cans are heavy right so I transitioned into lighter things now I know it's still on one corner I will watch it to see if it doesn't you know if it starts to go down there right there then I know it's I gotta rework it so down here, back in there is our deep fryer. We don't use that. We probably use it twice this year. It's just not that healthy. And once again, uh, sauces, tomato paste there. And I just had one can of that. I stuck it there. Pizza sauce, tuna, flakes of ham, chicken, canned meats back in there. Um, there's uh, corned beef back in there. Canned meats here, of course, and tuna meals. This, uh, I set there, these are broths. We got vegetable, or chicken, beef, and vegetable there. Sauces again, everything is very neatly organized. This is sort of the baking section here, right? We got peanut butter back in there, molasses, chocolate chips, jello, brown sugar, um, canned pineapple, um, whole mandarin oranges and then the various baking stuff honey vanilla baking powder it's there this is the uh, oat flour and then some package stuff pumpkin back in there cake mixes brownie mixes and then flowers and and sugar and these are my working containers down on the bottom salt now believe it or not I, I heard it said just yesterday I was watching a video and they said for every person in your household if you were prepping if you if you're actually doing that you need three pounds of salt for each person so we got almost five in there technically that's enough salt for Michelle and I but that's the uh, open molasses down there open packages raisins I've got cranberries that's buckwheat flour and the laundry detergents over there and stuff so I'm really very pleased with this pantry it's very well organized couscous here but that's a whole row of pasta right back through there noodles that's the rice is over there spaghetti noodles and this is cereal here 
<coughs> pancake mixes. We don't eat a lot of that, but it's there. Pasta, like I said, I'm I'm very pleased with the way this is all organized. So that's what we've been up to. Michelle could tell you in just a couple of seconds what we have. And everything on this list is in. From mustard, that stuff, it's all in. That uh, pantry check, so I would suggest check it out. These are not in, just a few clementines. I'll take one a day in my lunch, right? So, uh, this shelf over here needs a lot of work. That's for another day or two, but anyway, it is what it is. So, on to the next venture. Okay, so this was our next, I won't say our next venture, but it was a venture this week. And uh, what it is, it's a seven cubic foot deep freeze. And it actually, Michelle found it at Home Depot and I went and picked it up. Seven cubic foot, I guess I said that. We bought this, I'm actually gonna say, we got it for $318 plus tax. The other one we had was the front door. It's a three and a half cubic foot, but what with the baskets, the way it was set up, it's very efficient, but it didn't hold much. Now, well that, thank goodness. The, what's inconvenient about this is I used to keep on the other freezer, the bread maker and the air fryer, and I'm still gonna. Right now, I've had to move them and set them on there. I put these underneath them. Michelle crocheted them placemats. I put them underneath so that it doesn't scratch the top of the freezer. Now we actually got this freezer and started stocking it before we got the pantry check app. So most of the stuff, now some we have gone back over and put in. Problem was most of it we took out of the packages in order to get it in here. I see like these we bought since they're in. The air meats we bought since they are in the system. There's a couple of pie shells, there's two of them down in there. They're not. This is uh, we got two three different kinds of fish here. We got salmon, sole, and haddock. We've got two of those cakes. But anyway, this is a dandy little freezer. Chicken. I took it. I've used uh, 70 plus of those little bags this week. <coughs> Excuse me, plus I made about 10 bags. You can see the temperature. We're looking at minus 20 in there. That's pretty darn good. So yeah, basically most of the stuff that's in that freezer has not been put into the pantry check yet. But it, it will be. And then it'll be ongoing as we use. Take it in, take it out of stock. It'll all be good. So that's that. So there, if you remember, is the little freezer. And why I say it looks silly, or you might think it's silly, is because that is where the cat stand stayed. So guess where the cat stand is now? <laughs> if you'll notice, that stand is literally just about, well, if the rug wasn't there, it would be the same size as the top of that deep freeze. So I put it there and the cat's been on it ever since. She loves it. So we're hoping, I took the uh, cream colored blanket that it always stays there. It's in the washing machine right now because it was so full of cat hair and I'm brushing the dog every day, but I, I tell people he loses half a dog a day, bless his little heart. So anyway, I took that off, it's in the wash. The rest of it needs wash. That's a piece of cat hair there. She tears it out in chunks sometimes. But anyway, the washing machine was full. <coughs> well, I'm just cleaning up some old towels and stuff, getting them through the wash and I washed that. And yes, the lint trap when the, it comes out of the dryer will be full of cat hair, but anyway, I, uh, we decided we're not giving this freezer away and it works really good. When we got the other one, I took this one and emptied it out, took it right outside and let it defrost and 
brought it back in, moved it here tonight, plugged it in, and I'll show you. Down in the bottom, just the right size, we got four bags of McCain french fries there. We do use them a bit. Or, you know, that'll last us quite a while. And of course, they're in the pantry check system. Here in this drawer is chicken fingers, chicken nuggets, and down in the bottom there, I don't know whether you can see, those are chicken patties. All the exact same thing, just uh, different shape. Manufactured, processed chicken. But it's in there. And in this one here, I made some brownies, right? And you, they're fogged up, but I made brownies for Michelle for this week. And she's not gonna eat 16 by herself, so I froze uh, 11 of them. She can have one for each day. I've got two of these chicken pies in there and four TV dinners. But this right here, it'll work really good. That stuff in the top, if Michelle had to, she could get that out and get herself a meal in the microwave, right? So that's what we've been up to on my vacation. So I had plans to go do something that I like to do one day and I didn't do it and I chose not to, but we're gonna go do it, or I'm gonna go do it next Saturday morning. There's the old cat, her eyes need cleaned. She neglects her, so her eyes and then just now they'll be spotless, so anyway. So there, I just showed you basically what we have been up to the last five days. The uh, berries that you see at the first part of the video, I picked last weekend and <clears throat> we made the jam last weekend. And I never did anything since then. My vacation started Wednesday and I'm going back to work tomorrow. I've had five days off. I have enjoyed it. And it's been great to be able to be here with Michelle and I think she would tell you that she didn't mind me being around too much. But anyway, um, give that app a little look. If you're, it wouldn't matter, it doesn't matter. If it's just, a, you know, your weekly groceries. And I mean, we've got things like antiperspirants and shampoos and garbage bags and cleaners and you name it will go in there and if you're worried about wasting and most people would be in this environment this climate that we're in so I would strongly suggest give that a, a look obviously they don't know I exist they're certainly not paying me to promote this but um, I think it's a good thing and if you're wanting to watch your your dollars or whatever your currency is it certainly would be a good one to check out so um, any questions comment down below love to hear from you love getting comments so uh, hope you've enjoyed this video uh, hope maybe it sparks a few ideas in you in your in your mind uh, I gotta stay busy this week I've got to get out at evenings because as I said the uh, floors have been a little neglected the dusting never got done my cupboard here still looks like a disaster zone but we're all good so anyway thanks for watching it's kevin the homemaker husband saying god bless have a great evening oh and happy canada day for those of you watching in canada tomorrow is july the fourth so if you're in the u.s i hope you have a great fourth of july and get to see some fireworks so bye now we'll see you again soon God bless.